Descent, the true story of Anakin Skywalker, by Conway Fitzgerald, Part 4. I had been commanded by my Emperor to destroy the last remnants of resistance on Mustafar. They would all be there, waiting for me just like the Jedi younglings were. Unaware of the danger, unaware I brought their imminent destruction. Though as easy as this low-hanging fruit seemed to pick, I felt a strange tremor in the force. It made me cautious of going there immediately. I wanted to see her again. Before I went to Mustafar, I needed my Padme. That's right, R2. Disable hyperdrive coordinates. Engage course correction. We're heading home for Naboo. It's the creator! Master Anakin, you've returned. This is a wonderful day indeed. It's good to see you too, C-3PO. But who I really want to see is my darling wife. So if you'll please excuse me. Why, Senator Amidala isn't here, Master. She left the planet yesterday with Master Kenobi. Hearing those words brought my connection to the dark side of the Force to its zenith. This moment, I then realized, was why I needed the power of the dark side. To stop Kenobi, to free my love, and to preserve her life. How could Obi-Wan have joined this betrayal? My outrage brought me to a heightened state of anxiety. But with that, even greater power was stimulated. My anger became focused in ways I had theretofore yet to comprehend. Where did they go, C-3PO? Was she forced to leave? Well, of course not, Master Anakin. Master Kenobi arrived yesterday and explained the dangerous happenings on Coruscant. He was here offering to take Senator Amidala to safety. Where? Where did he take her? I'm sorry, Master Anakin. He did not say. Of course, the remedial education droid I had constructed on Tatooine did not know the answer. Obi-Wan would never reveal that kind of information to a computer. I had programmed that droid to teach protocol and language. I made it to be nice to my mother while she worked, and to teach me new things while I languished in the boredom of my child's slave existence. There, on the desert planet of Tatooine. R2, start scanning the galactic media. Anything involving Padme or Obi-Wan, their location, any hits. Tell me immediately. We'll find her, don't worry. Let's take care of this Trade Federation business first. Then we will find Padme and deal with Obi-Wan. On to Mustafar! Mustafar was a planet steeped in the Force. It was once a green planet with many thriving civilizations. Enjoying plenty and balance within the power of the Force. But then others came for total control and disrupted that balance. 
They turn the planet into a wasteland, a glowing cauldron of lava rivers cut through dark, lifeless canyons. It was here the rebellion would end, and the Galactic Empire would be installed. Galactic Vessel, state your security coordinates. You are cleared for entry, Master Skywalker. The Federation is eager to see you. I'm sure they are. As am I. Master Skywalker, you've arrived at last. Is it safe to return? Can we commence our trade? Trade may commence, yes. But none of you are safe to return anywhere. Is it done? It is, my master. Anakin! Pardon me. What are you doing here? This place is not safe! Oh, Anakin, I have heard so many horrible things. What? What have you heard, my love? That you destroyed the Jedi Temple? And all of the Jedi younglings? Anakin, tell me this isn't true. Where is Kenobi? I am here, Anakin. Padme. Get to safety. Go from here. This is between us. Anakin! Don't fight with Master Kenobi, please! Listen to him. He is your friend. I wish it were so. But it is clear that is not the truth. Is it, Master Kenobi? Anakin! You are being used by a Sith Lord. He crept in upon us and is more powerful than any Sith Lord we have yet encountered for many centuries. Perhaps it is you that has crept in, my old friend, to steal my love away and endanger her here on this lava planet. Why would you do this if you truly loved any of us? Anakin, I begged for him to allow me to speak with you. I'm why we are both here, don't blame him. Anakin, it is you that is in danger. Please, you must break free from the clutches of the dark side. You are one of us. I understand your love of Padme, but the dark side of the force is not your friend. Palpatine is a Sith Lord, a master of evil. Friends are hard to come by now, it seems. Unlike you, Palpatine has never lied to me. Come, Obi-Wan. The will of the force shall determine the truth. Anakin, don't do this! If you are certain your cause is just, then present your lightsaber, and we shall see who is in the right. I will defend myself if I must. Anakin, don't! Ben is your brother. You are both on the same side. What do you know of the Force? What makes you think you can tell me the nature of the Force? I was angry that she questioned me. She was my wife. She was supposed to be my ally and my only friend. Kenobi had made her part of those that opposed me. Those who opposed peace, order, and an end to the war. How could my beloved be so easily convinced to betray me like this? Anakin, listen to what you're saying. Look at what you're doing. You've drawn your lightsaber, put it back! You are angry and prepared to use the Force for evil against your best friend. You aren't right! Listen to Obi-Wan- My intention was merely to silence her. To prevent her from begging me not to destroy Kenobi. She did not understand. She could not understand this trap that we both had been lured into. 
as I had done in the Chancellor's ballroom. I used slightly more force than I should have, and I hurt my beloved, causing her to lose consciousness. Look what you have done! We need to get her to medical help. Immediately! I will take her. I will bring her to safety. You, Obi-Wan aren't going anywhere. And so it was. I now aimed to fulfill the vision I had of striking down Kenobi and ending the galactic civil war. He was my master and was still advanced of me in the mastery of the force. But my anger fueled great power within me. Dark power he could hardly resist. But the fulfillment of this vision was made to wait for over 20 years. Only weeks ago, on the Death Star itself, was my vision of destroying Kenobi finally realized? Then, what happened on Mustafar? How was it he survived and you were made to live like this? I had exhausted Kenobi. He was beaten beneath me. When suddenly, I heard what I believed to be the voice of my angel, Padme, calling out to me. Anakin! So I turned my head to her. That is when Kenobi struck, removing my legs beneath me. Ah! In the shock and pain of this great injury, he struck me again. Ah! and took my lightsaber from me. I was seething in pain, moving closer towards the point of fire beneath us. Above us, a fleet of galactic destroyers then entered the system. So Kenobi fled with my Padme. My Emperor found me soon after and managed to keep me alive in this shell hidden beneath this mask I must now forever be. It is my destiny. But Kenobi was able to flee with Padme. But she did not survive. She was alive. I know it now. For she gave birth to my son. So it's true. Luke Skywalker. The young pilot from Tatooine. He is your child. With Padme Amidala. It must be so. I felt the force within him. It was strong. Only someone with my blood, my innate power, could possibly have achieved that mission. So what will you do now? Will you kill him as well? Add him to your list of enemies? If that is his destiny, how could you? He is your son. He is your last connection to Padme. How could you destroy him? I have told you all I will tell, Truthsayer. Now it is time for you to go. I understand. Please. Make it painless.
see this one brought back to Naboo safely. No harm is to come of this woman. Understand? See to it personally, Commander. Why, yes, sir. I will arrange an escort right away. Thanks so much for listening, everyone. I'd like to share my fantastic cast list with you again. Please be sure to follow them and all of their artistic work. I've left a link in the description for each of them. If you like having brand new, full cast audio drama for free here on YouTube, give us a thumbs up, show your support. Subscribe, it's free. And remember to ring the bell so you never miss an episode.